watch and play replay with async. On this video, I kind of wanted to give my thoughts on the most recent uh, James Gunn announcement for the next eight to 10 years for the DC universe. So with that, let's get to it. Okay, on, if you've watched the actual announcement that he made for the, for the slate of movies and TV shows, you'll kind of uh, have an idea of what I'm gonna talk about on this video. So he calls it Gods and Monsters, which is a pretty cool name, I guess, for the, like the, um, the theme for this uh, season or set of films and movies to begin to begin the universe or whatever of the reboot or whatever you want to call it the quote unquote uh, reboot of the DC universe. So he starts off with a TV show and for me that's a bad sign because you're going to start off your whole universe with a cartoon TV show. That's not how you do it. Because everybody who's going to watch these big movies are not going to be focused on watching an HBO Max cartoon. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be rated R or one of those edgy cartoon, adult cartoon things either. So that's kind of a weird thing. So he starts off with Creature Commandos, which is very much in the line of a James Gunn type of thing. It even has that... Uh, weasel character or whatever that survived the um the stuff that happened in the suicide squad directed by james gunn so it's already starting off with james gunn the stuff that he did is going to stick around and a few other things will just disappear which is kind of let lets me down and makes me feel a little bit kind of like yeah this is not such a good thing Initially, when he started, when the whole idea came out and he got rid of uh, Henry Cav Cavill or whatever, I was like, I don't like that. I really wanted him back. And of course, he said in these this like announcement thing, not on the video, but he basically said that he was being kind of jerked around by the old management of WB. And so it wasn't technically like he was firing him because they just basically fixed the problem and then he was gone. So it's like, okay, but it still didn't work out for him after he was promised after Black Adam that he was going to be Superman again. And I know he was happy about that because he announced it like right away. He was really into it, which kind of sucks because I thought he was a very good Superman, but whatever. So, and you're going to see it. I'm going to I'm going to be talking pretty openly about my personal feelings and agendas that I've seen throughout other stuff in this video. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, Creature Commandos seems like a James Gunn type of thing. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I don't know what the deal is with that. And he says he wants to bring in actors that can play the cartoon character version and then also a movie version, which makes me think that these characters will be in a movie somewhere down the line, these actors that play these characters. So that makes me wonder, you know, I don't know what they're going to do. But let's move along. Then we get to Waller. It's another TV show. This one's an actual live action TV show, and it's basically... Uh, it's basically Peacemaker season two. That's the way it sounds because the team, of course, James Gunn's wife will be, and I don't have no problems with her. I thought she was good in a Peacemaker show. I didn't think, I didn't have a problem with her. I didn't think she acted bad. I didn't think anything bad about her. So there's no bad blood for, about me with his wife or whatever. Not like it matters, but I don't really have a problem with her. I have a problem with the idea that he's going to keep that whole universe going. So, I mean, if you watch the end of that series, I mean, there was some stuff that, I guess, social justice crap that he, he threw into that, sh that, that whole show had a, um, had like a, 
a theme of all the social garbage that that really fires people up and gets people divided. I mean, he had a KKK Grand Dragon or whatever type of character as the the villain of the whole entire thing, not the alien things that were run, all strung out through the show. No, it had to be the villain had to be uh, Peacemaker's dad and spoilers. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, and he had to be a racist because racists are worse than aliens coming to take over the Earth. I don't get that. I didn't really like the show because it was so just like, it, well, it starts off with you have to have a lesbian right away. Beat you over the head with the agenda, the the message. The message is we have to push LGBT. I don't mind whatever you guys believe in whatever you want to believe. But why does that have to be the message in so many things? And I'm going to get into that a little later too because that's going to be more of a message coming up. So... That's not what I was into, whatever. And I don't think that that was, that was, that didn't take up the whole entire show or anything. It wasn't like the overall beating you over the head message, but they have to start it off with that so they could check a box. They're really using the LGBT just to kind of check boxes. They don't really care about you. They're just using you to push an agenda so they can, so they don't get canceled. That's all they're doing. They're checking a box. Just like with racial stuff, they, they check boxes. Yep, we got this, we got the black character, oh, we got LGB character, and they just keep uh, tokenizing these people. And it kind of is horrible that they're doing that, but that's what these corporations are doing to cover their ass so that they don't have to worry about being canceled online. So I'm sure that offended somebody, but that's basically what's going on. So yeah, so the... um. The James Gunn stuff is going to stick around. And that includes the Peacemaker stuff. So, of course, Waller, who's from that same universe. And, in, of course, you did see her in the Black Adam movie. And you've seen James Gunn's wife uh, in that. So, that's that's the Peacemaker stuff. So, I'm just like, oh. so But that universe with Black Adam is gone now. So, Superman's gone now. But or that version of Superman is gone now, but somehow we're going to keep that. I don't get it. So right there, that seems a little off. But the problem here I'm having is two TV shows in a row that's going to start your universe. Now, all the people that are going to go see your movie probably didn't see those TV shows, so they're going to kind of go, so the universe starts with Superman, and that's it? You're Just keep in mind that all the people that are going to watch your Superman movie most of them did not watch uh, Creature Commandos, nor did they watch Waller or even Peacemaker. So if they didn't watch any of that stuff, now they're just going right in and watching Superman. Well, okay, I'm hoping there's not an overall overarching like storyline that we have to keep track of in there. So anyway, it goes from Waller, and now we get into the movies. Now we get into Superman Legacy. Well, when I think of Legacy, I'm thinking... Has Superman been Superman for many, 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 many years now? Now, I know they don't want to retell the whole beginning all over again, which is fine. And they say he's a hopeful character, a, a, a kind of person that's really good. And, you know, they gave it, basically gave you the whole um, description of Superman, which is what he should be. Okay, that's good. And truth, justice, and the American way. They, that's, they actually said that, that that's what he stands for. Now... That sounds fine, but in today's society, especially in America, around the world it's not this way because around the world they don't have propaganda and stuff on their TVs. But in America, we have a brainwashing going on where America's stuff is bad. You know, we always, we're always being told that, you know, the history of America is so racist and so sexist and so everything. So we're supposed to hate all the people that created this country. And that seems strange because... If you hate all the people that created your country, then you're going to hate the freedom that they gave you, right? But, so I'm just kind of wondering, is Superman going to be like, oh, saying sorry to the whole world for America because we're all a bunch of racist, whatever? You know, I don't know. I just think that that sounds strange. But I, it's nothing that James Gunn or any of them said. Because truth, justice, and the American way, if you go by the old values that America once had, now they don't have any values. They just threw that out and they don't care what they do. 
Um, America is be basically reaping what it sows now because of it's just has no, it's almost valueless. They just, whatever, whatever comes and goes, it just go with the flow, whatever it is today, then we'll change tomorrow. We'll change tomorrow, you know? So, um, those values of that Superman would have had in the original days, truth, justice, in the American way are not going to be the same today. So if they basically try to upgrade Superman for a, a more um, modern audience, because whenever they say we're updating it for a modern audience, that usually means that they're updating it in a way that helps uh, all the people that are online, that are social justice warriors that really want to beat the crap out of anybody that doesn't say what they don't like, you know. So I don't know. Just legacy, it makes me wonder, and what, and also legacy kind of makes me, does he have a son or something? What's this legacy that he's talking about here? Because they said they wanted a younger Superman, because they didn't want Henry Cavill because they want a younger Superman. Okay, if you want a younger Superman with all this experience, how you have experience with this younger Superman and then have him have this legacy and all this stuff, but he's got to be a younger guy, I don't understand because later on, I'm going to get into the Batman stuff, and that kind of ties into that. But moving along, Superman, hopefully it'll be good. I, don't, I, I, I like Superman. I don't want it to be bad. I don't want anything, any of this to be bad, honestly. I want it all to be great. Okay, so then we move on to Lanterns, a TV show on HBO Max. Uh, you know, a, a basically a buddy cop type show, it sounds like with Jon Stewart and Hal Jordan or whatever. Okay, so that sounds great and everything, but it takes place on Earth, of course, because you take a big budget to film it out in space, like, you know, with these lanterns going out in space. And I'm hoping Kilowog shows up in this. That would be kind of cool. But um, I like the fact that Jon Stewart is a lantern in this. I've been waiting to see Jon Stewart actually get... He's the lantern I've always loved the most. Hal Jordan, I just I didn't grow up in the period where he was the lantern, really. I grew up in a period with where I just kind of, I don't know, for some reason, um, Hal jo or, uh, John Stewart was my lantern. I just loved it. I loved him in the um, Justice League TV show, the cartoon show, or whatever. And I just always loved the character. Um, if they got a good Flash, uh, he would be. It would be great to have a Hal, uh, a Flash and um, Green Lantern with John Stewart show where it's kind of like those two back and forth with each other that would be kind of funny and it'd be kind of cool how they could do some great stories i don't know but whatever so yeah that would i don't mind the lantern show i think the lantern show could be really good but once again the people that are going to go see these movies are not going that are probably not going to know about the lantern show not everybody is watching the shows so you're going to get these people that don't know about the lantern so if they show up in a movie later they're going to be like oh they're just there and there's no backstory no nothing and you would be like oh so they don't really know the characters so there's not really a lot of compassion toward the characters that just show up in a movie you know so that i don't know what to think of that but i think the show will be great i don't have a problem with it i i really don't have a problem with it i really want to see john stewart as a lantern I really want to see that on a big screen, but I guess a series would be okay as, as long as they do a great job. And I'd like to see some flashbacks to like Oa or whatever, the planet with all, you know, all, with all the other lanterns and stuff in space a little bit too. But they're going to be investigating, I guess, some kind of thing that ties into the overall universe of the movies and everything, it sounds like, from what James Gunn said. So that gets into the next one. And this one, I kind of... I feel like this is going to be agenda filled. The next one is the authorities or the authority. Okay. Nobody knows anything about that. Really. That's just people know about it, but it's not a big major thing that, uh, is really well known. It's kind of like guardians before James Gunn started making the movies because nobody really knew about them for the most part. Uh, but the authority, I did a little research into it just quickly and basically, it's like the Justice League, uh, but they're not the Justice League, obviously. And they're sounds like they're going to be. I feel like they're going to be kind of the villains, because James Gunn said they're going to they want to do things in their own way or whatever. It sounds like the boys. 
it sounds a little bit like uh there's a i don't know they're gonna be i feel like they're gonna be the overall villains for this round i don't know but so you're, you're gonna have superman probably go against them because they're that's a this is a movie the authority is going to be a movie which i really i think there's other characters they could have done to make a movie uh i would have liked to see like some other i don't know something else but the authority is and the also the thing that another thing tying together with the agenda that these movies have because the cia authorizes a lot of um scripts and i know that they push agendas in movies now i know that sounds like conspiracy but that's that's a fact you can look it up the cia is all up in the hollywood stuff so they they're they authorize scripts they do all this stuff so if there's an agenda that they want to push to divide america or do something you know kind of shady they can do it and they have done it it's this is this has gone on for a while now so i think that the agenda here is to push lgbt heavily because they know that christians are you know it's an anti-christian movement so they can get christians you know to look like bad people i'll just put it that way because you know superman he came, he came out at a time when this country was a good chunk of it was christian so that's why he had that truth justice in the american way because it was meant to be more of a a christian type of thing now i don't know if superman was meant to be a christian character but i'm just saying he had the morals of like a jesus in in how his stuff was done so I think that this movie, the, the authority, is going to be pushing an agenda. Because right away, two of the main characters in this are gay. Gay men. And we've had a lot of that lately. We've had that in um, The um, the Last of Us. They had to have a whole show for two gay men. A whole episode devoted to that. Now, I'm not trying to go after everybody here. I'm just saying that... This message is being put out there and this and a lot of kids are being hit with this message. This is a heavily pushed message on a lot of stuff. And that's it's it's a real thing. I mean, if you ever look up um the gay manifesto that was read to Congress, that tells you everything about the the plans. I'm not saying everybody's in on the same plan, but I'm saying that there was a plan and the government agreed to push a message of a certain amount of um, uh, things like that. I'll just put it that way. And that eventually led to pedophilia. And I'm sure somebody's going to have a heart attack. But um, And that's why some of these things are being pushed now. Because you're seeing the agenda. The message. And it's, it, it's a CIA type of message. Now I know that sounds a lot like craziness. But trust me, it's a real thing. So I'm going to get past that now because I'm sure somebody's going to have a heart attack. But the next thing is a TV show called Paradise Lost. And the Paradise Lost show is going to be basically Wonder Woman's Island without Wonder Woman. And it's going to be Game of Thrones with all women. Okay, that seems like another message uh, to beat you over the head with, with the, the female empowerment. Okay, I don't care if you're a female and you're empowered. I love Wonder Woman. Why can't we have Wonder Woman? No, we can't do that. We got to have all a bunch of women, just not Wonder Woman. Okay, that's, I don't get it. But okay, we have to do a like Game of Thrones show. So anyway, that's a TV show. So once again, the people who watch these movies, not going to probably know, 90% of them are not going to know about this stuff that happens in this show. If the stuff that in, in this show um, impacts the movies the people watching the movies are not going to know about what's going on on the tv show so once again you're basically uh alienating a part of your audience a big chunk of them so the next one is brave and the bull batman and he has a son and his son is a little um kind of a little brat it sounds like i'm not a big knowledgeable person about the batman like all the different comic books and stuff but his son is in this and he basically it sounds like he's going to try and get his son to be robin basically in or it'll be his try to get his son back from 
whatever he's basically he's going to try to have something to do with his son but it sounds to me like there's a theme here if the superman movie is called legacy what if superman has a son and then what if you get to the batman movie and batman has a son now right so you're using the main characters of these movies the the character you paid to see and you wanted to see to push younger versions of them instead of pushing the regular version that we all wanted to see i mean we do want to see a justice league but we don't want to see young justice we want to see the justice league i don't want to see a young justice movie i want to see a justice league i'd even like to see um the legion or the legion of doom at some point with lex luther and all that i'd like to see all these I'd like to see whatever. I just want to see these things on the screen, not in the, the Zack Snyder universe. I want to see them in, act, in a just, you know, happy su Superman, a good Superman, a nice, you know, not a dark version of him. I don't hate Ken Henry Cavill because he, he played the role, but some of the stuff that I've seen in those movies, I kind of wanted to get past so I could see a good, happy, like, Superman that's saving, you know, people and doing good things for the world, a hopeful one. So anyway, and and I'm and I'm talking about these things because these are the new things. I'll get into the stuff that's left to come out in a minute here, but yeah. So Brave and the Bold, Batman is bringing up his son, and basically, I bet you his son gets pushed more than Batman, and he's gonna probably take the back background eventually, while his son basically becomes Nightwing or I don't know whatever Robin or something, and I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. So I'm just kind of, I feel like, because uh, uh, James Gunn did say that he's going to use these, these main characters to push um, other characters in their movies. So that makes me understand that, well, maybe he's going to be using a younger cast of even younger superheroes that the older ones, that the ones we all know are going to be pushing or using to push those characters. So that kind of scares me again. Okay, so then the next one is a TV show, Booster Gold, and that could be actually a good show. I don't think that that would be a bad thing. I don't know if that's a real, that's tied into the universe of the movies. I don't know, but it's it's it would be a good show, I think. If they do it right, I think it could be good. I don't have a problem with that. I did like Booster Gold in the Justice League Unlimited uh, cartoon series. He was kind of cool. He was funny and everything. So I don't have a problem with Booster Gold. And then we get to Supergirl. Uh, whatever, Woman of Tomorrow or something anyway, instead of Man of Tomorrow for Superman or whatever. So that's kind of strange. And James Gunn said that she's going to be on a basically the complete opposite of Superman, and she's going to be raised on basically a part of Krypton that was destroyed, and she watched destruction and all her people dying her whole life, basically. So in other words, she's going to be a traumatized young woman and so basically what we'll, by the time we get around to that point we're going to end up having this thing where superman was raised by loving parents and loving everything but she was not so it's going to be this jealousy probably between her and him and she might you know not be his friend or whatever because he was raised in a good household how dare he he's a white privileged man you know that that type of fee i feel like that's where this could go and if it does, I really feel sorry for the, I just, because at that point, I don't know who's going to want to see these movies, if they're going to do that. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going by the social justice, social justice warrior stuff that we keep seeing in, in Marvel and all these other things. So this is not Marvel, but I know that these things are being pushed across all media. So yeah. So I hope that's not what's going to happen. But Supergirl just being raised in this barbarian type of violent environment where everything's just, you know, death and destruction, that just, it feels like that's going to have tie into something with Superman where he's like, he's wrong because he was raised right. And she's, she's got, she's a victim. So therefore she's always right. You know, that type of thing. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I hope it doesn't, but I just with the way things have been going with these movies and the agendas that people push, 
it wouldn't surprise me if she's this victimized woman. But moving on, Swamp Thing. That's the last of the um, announcement for the, for the new stuff. Swamp Thing, I would like to see. I actually want to see that. It sounds like a horror movie and all this stuff. And if they get the right director and the right writers and actually people who know how to write, um, this would be a really cool thing to see. Because I, I kind of like the one from the 80s, which is corny and just stupid and not the best special effects. But it's kind of cool. I don't know. I kind of like that one. And I really would like to see an updated version with all the special effects that looks real and all this stuff. And don't film it all at night and all that stuff. Just just shoot a movie in the swamp and make Swamp Thing real and make it look cool. And just, I don't know, make... I don't know, just do something really cool. I think Swamp Thing is a cool character, and I just want to see a new Swamp Thing movie. I didn't watch the TV show that they came out with a few years ago because they canceled it after the first episode, so I was like, well, why even bother? They basically just took money out of their own pocket because they canceled it so quickly. But I would love to see a, uh, a Swamp Thing movie. But moving backward now, in the very beginning... Before all this, uh, James Gunn was talking about movies that they're finishing out from that were already made. And he talked about Shazam uh, and that the second Shazam movie is going to be coming out and all that stuff. And I don't know if that's going to tie in, how that's going to work with this new universe, whatever. I don't know. And then, of course, he talked highly about the Flash movie. And, you know, it's, it's going to be a great movie. Now, it's a great movie because Batman's in it. But um, Ezra Miller, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know what they're doing with this guy. This guy needs to be fired eight, like immediately. I don't know. They, they make it sound like he's getting better. And it's like, this guy literally said he is the second coming of Jesus. Okay, so he's mocking, you know, Christianity. He's just completely blaspheming Jesus. And then on top of that, he's like grooming a little girl. He's uh, got drugs going on, all this stuff. The, and parents are looking for their kids. He's got, um, he's choking a woman. I mean, last time I seen some, seen something halfway as bad as that, uh, everybody canceled the actors and stuff that did anything like that on, on Twitter. But, you know, Ezra Miller, he could choke a woman on camera and get away with it and break into people's houses and do all this stuff, groom children, just take little girls or whatever, young girls, and just leave with their without their parents knowing, have their parents looking for them, and, and, and just go and have like a cult or whatever. He could do all this stuff and, and basically brainwash her and all this stuff and get away with it. But somehow, like anybody else, anybody who did that, if, if anyone was, if they were a right-wing person that did that, oh my God, they'd be canceled after the first thing, like breaking in a house to get alcohol, to steal alcohol. They'd be canceled over that. But no, Ezra Miller, he can go full on and just completely groom children. He could, he could basically abuse women. He could do whatever he wants and get away with it. And they just say, well, he's getting better. He's putting in the work to try to get better. Okay, this is not like some, it's, this is not like getting better off, like getting off of drugs. If you're abusing women, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, just get rid of this guy. Why do you need him? And you get rid of um, Henry Cavill, who had not done any of this, but you keep Ezra Miller? Oh, give me a break. I don't know. I don't even think I'm gonna, ever going to see that movie because I don't want to support some kind of a creep like that. Now, I understand that a lot of people made that movie, but still, that's, no. I mean, that guy is a creep. The way he treats women, no, no, no. That's just not, the, that's not how you act. This guy is a little brat. He's get, he basically, he really didn't say sorry. I mean, he kind of just kind of did it in like a smug ass way. No, just get rid of him. So The Flash, that's not really a movie as far as I'm concerned. That's just a pile of crap that they just won't, they have to make money on because they spent all this money to make it. And then there's multiple Ezra Millers in that movie. So that's even worse. So James Gunn says, this is a great movie. You know, it's like, oh yeah, okay, it's a great movie for you, but not for most of the people that know about Ezra Miller. We're just like, no, we're done. So cancel Ezra Miller, okay? How about that? So anyway, then Blue Beetle, I don't know much about Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle, but it sounds like he's like the Spider-Man of the DC universe, which is fine. We need a young young guy that has like good, you know, quips, he's kind of funny, you know, stuff like that. That would be great. 
I think that's fine. I have no problem with Ezra with uh, Ezra. Oh, got Ezra on the mind. Um, I have no problem with the Blue, Blue Beetle movie. I think it'll probably be good. I don't know. We'll find out. And then the last one is Aquaman 2. Uh, so Aquaman 2, you're going to have uh, What's-Her-Face in that. Um, I forget her name because she's basically, she basically got canceled <laughs> uh, for all the stuff that she did with Johnny Depp. And Amber Heard, that's who. Yeah, but so I don't know. I don't really care about her or whatever. I don't think that I would not go to see the movie over her because I don't think she's in it very much. She's not like the main star, like Ezra Miller. And she didn't abuse women and she didn't uh, uh, try to groom young girls and give them drugs and all that stuff like Ezra Miller did. So, yeah, but whatever. I don't know. I'm not really into it. I see him with the black suit, Aquaman. And I'm like, after the first Aquaman movie, did they did everything right. Now they're going to have him in a black suit. What does he have to have, be stealthy underwater now? I don't understand. So that kind of depresses me because I'm like, please do Aquaman right. So whatever. But yeah, that's, that's the list of all the movies and all the shows and all that stuff that DC announced and all that stuff that's coming out. And... My overall thoughts are, um, it feels like a bait and switch for the most part. I feel like there's going to be a lot of bait and switch stuff. Here's Superman. You want to see a Superman movie, but oops, we're going to pull it back because the next movie is going to be his son or it's going to be something else, you know? And he's, and also another thing is they wanted a younger Superman, right? But it sounds like Brave and the Bold Batman is an older Batman because there's a Batman family now. So, you got an older Batman and a younger Superman. Those Batman and Superman are supposed to be closer in age because they're starting the Justice League. It just feels like more respectable for them to be about on the same level, the same age, you know? So, I don't know how I feel about a younger Superman, a younger one than Batman. So, whatever. But, overall, I don't think that this announcement made anybody even, like, jump for joy like like this is going to be this great thing because a lot of this stuff is tv shows and tv shows like i said are not going to be watched by the majority of the people that are going to go see these movies you have to understand this is i mean and i hated it when disney plus started doing shows and then people go to see the movies and be asking questions of the people that actually watch the shows be like well where did this come from and why did this happen because they don't watch the shows I understand they're trying to sell some subscription to um, networks, but this there's a lot of networks that people have to keep track of now. And if they have to keep track of all these different networks to watch the movies, I think a lot of people are going to be out. I don't know about that. I don't know how that's going to work. So I went on pretty long for this episode, but I just wanted to give my thoughts on the overall um the slate for all the movies for DC and TV shows and all that stuff. And I hope it's going to go well. I hope it's not going to be any of the stuff that I mentioned, but I know there's a lot of agenda and message to push out there. And I just know from James Gunn's uh, work with DC so far that he did push some messages in his uh, Peacemaker show. So if he's going to do that in these movies, I don't know how, if I'm going to like it. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.